Hello, everybody. Uh, hi, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I paint my word bearers. Uh, the metallic red that you see here, how I got that color, slight variations of it depending on the primer I'm using. Uh, here's my Primus Medicaid I'm currently painting. I only got a leg done, but you see, but you get the point though. Uh, depending on your particular, oh, by the way, I have Lobster Man here to help me showcase this, this today. Depending on the primer you're using, will determine on how many coats of the following paints you're gonna need, but what I generally need, um, Basilicanum Gray contrast, and Flesh Terror's Red contrast. These, that's all I need, that's all I do. So it's the, it's the magic sauce. I see a lot of people using a lot of different shades, starting from a white, which you can definitely do. Like, uh, you can do anything you want, obviously, whatever, your models, I don't care, but at least for me, um, I find it's a lot simpler, just two steps. I get like a generally uh, fairly decent brush with a, you know, decent belly. Uh, just look at them gray, you know, shake it, obviously all that GW stuff. Shake it, get like a bunch, right? And then I treat it like, you know, some like, like some normal oil. Pick a spot like up here, for example, just lay it on. Uh, we'll do here, just one coat, right? Along the back. Let's get it kind of thick. And this can be as thick or as thin as you want, right? The whole thing is gonna get covered anyway. You don't really have to be too precise. Get in here if you want. And if you want, you can come back, pull some off, make a little more even. And again, if you get like a like a lead belcher spray, it's gonna be a little darker, so you may not need as heavy of a coat of the Sun Academy Gray to really get the effect. But we'll come back uh, when it dries, and then we'll do the flush tears red. It shouldn't take too long because I have a fan on. All right, so looks like it's about dry. So here we go. Get some flush tears red. Obviously, again, blah blah, shake, shake, shake. Get a decent brush, you know, decent amount. I try to do things in like one coat if possible, and then I'll like touch the area I want to start with, and then I'll touch the other area, and I'll just kind of go from there. Try to get it in one pass. The more times you brush it, the more brush strokes it's gonna leave. Try to get the exact area. There we go. Get these bits here. These bits on this side too. Don't forget to get the parts you got in the beginning so they don't dry up on you. Like they have on me so many times. And this is pretty much it. This is what I do. Um, if you want a darker, more deeper crimson, you just add a second coat, or you could have just gone heavier with the Basilicanum Gray. Just kind of fit the fit the, the formula for however you need it. Uh, generally, this is how I work. This is just how it works. Uh, you know, from for like basic tabletop standard, this is fine. It works good for characters, right? This was done with, I believe, it was a lead belcher spray on the base, so it was a little darker. Uh, and then this one was similar spray to this guy. So it came out a little bit lighter, but, you know, still sells the effect decently. But yeah, so you can paint pretty, pretty quickly. It's already pretty much dried, and there you go. There's the Word Bearer's Metallic Crimson. And it's... Bum, ba, da, bum.